Hello and welcome to another Gonzales Marketing Tour. My name is Joby Gonzales and today we are going to be looking at this beautiful house in Philinvest 2, Quezon City. Okay, all the property specifications will be in the bottom left corner. And when it comes to the property overview, I will let future Joby take care of that. So hello, future Joby here. About the location itself, I believe the prices of the properties there will rise because of the upcoming MRT7 Batasan train station. And there's actually a station nearby, right when you exit Batasan Road onto Commonwealth, it's gonna be one there. When it comes to floods, generally Phil Invest 2 won't have a problem with that because we are in very high ground. Now, when it comes to the fault line, yes, Phil Invest 2 crosses the West Valley fault line, but only in some houses. Fivox recommends being at least 10 meters away, your house 10 meters away from the fault line. And this house in particular is 214 meters away. So I can say that that's very safe. Now when it comes to the subdivision itself, the security is actually really good. They stopped us for around 15 minutes trying to confirm who we are, what we do, sino ba pupunta namin, legit ba talaga kami magbibideo ng bahay. So it's a good sign that they don't just let anyone in. Because in some subdivisions that I've been to, all you say is the street eh. Tapos papapasukin ko na. And what if I'm a robber, right? So that's good. Good job for the security in Phil Invest 2. Now when we actually drove around the subdivision, I found it to be a very pleasant experience because you can see a lot of the mountains and you can feel the fresh air. It feels like you're away from the city even though you just entered Batasan Road. Anyways, back to you present Joby. So now that you're back, let me introduce to you our special guest for today. This is Brian. Hi guys. He is a interior design student in UST. And I just wanted to bring him along just so that he could provide us some insights on what an interior designer would say about looking at a space like this. Okay? So now, before we start, hit that like button and subscribe so that we can continue to make more of these house videos for you. Brian, will you do the honors? Sure. Also, follow me on Instagram. Right there is my uh, username. I'll post real estate related stuff and my life. Okay. So this is your two car port. Now guys, I'm actually, when I first looked at it, I didn't know if my Innova could fit here, but I, looking at it closely, it actually can. It just looks small because it's wide. Okay, so you can fit two Innovas here. I'm not sure about like the super huge SUVs. So Brian, can you just walk around para lang makita nila yung size? Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna actually try to put my car here just so you guys can see. Okay, so one thing that we did not think through is the gate needs to be open outwards. Yeah, it's her fault. Okay, one we'll look at the exterior. It's beautiful. It has that neutral, modern look. I love those uh, I love those tempered glass in the balcony. It really makes it elegant, yung thing, yung itsura. Okay, so one thing you're gonna notice in all in this whole house are these things, right? So we have so much construction materials, unfinished, uh, unfinished patio. Well, this house is 95% done, and Miss Angela, our contact for the house, actually told us na what do you call this. Yeah, they're only going to finish it 100% once a buyer actually acquires this house. So yeah. So bare yung landscaping niya. But then, the house is kind of done already. Okay, now let's go inside. So this is your living area. Living and dining area. So okay, Brian, can you move forward? Just so they can see the size. Okay. So where Brian is right now is the dining area. Okay, this is the living area. So maganda dito, you have lots of windows. It's actually a very bright room. So we're facing the north. This house faces north. And despite having some of the rays of the afternoon sun coming at this house, it's very cool. If you guys actually enter this house, malamig siya. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep moving just so you get to see more. 
the advantage of this facing the north oh. is the light, the, the flow of the light is consistent. It does not change. Because if, every, if the house is always facing north, that's the same light throughout the day. It's not going to be too hot, it's not going to be too dark. Pero may light pa rin. One of the reasons why artists prefer to work in a place that faces the north is because of the consistent lighting without the heat brought about by an afternoon sun or a house that faces west. So kung gusto ninyo ng bahay na maganda yung lighting where you can appreciate the golden sun without the heat, kasi mainit talaga ang room kapag afternoon sun ang harap mo. Get a house that faces north. So one thing that's not bright here as of the moment is the kitchen. And so it's actually pretty huge. I know guys, it's a bit dark. The lights still don't work. So you have lots of cabinet space here in this bar area. Plus the countertops. So you have lots of space. Ano ulit yung countertops? What, what did you say they were? Granite ba? Yeah, granite. It's the same countertop that you use inside the toilet and bathroom. Okay. So same. All right. All the... So I'm just gonna adjust my focus here, guys. All the... Cabinets here are soft close, so let me just try that. Yeah, so they spent the extra money for that, so that's really nice. Okay, you also have a triple bowl sink right here. So this is where the stove's gonna be. Okay. So I'm just gonna move here. Yeah, that's where the refrigerator is gonna be. Okay, as you've noticed, yes, we'll have backsplash tiles, so the full of wood pa. It's a 95% finish. Eh. Hey, so here's the clarity kitchen. Ang sarap ng hangin, guys. I wish you guys were here so you can understand what I'm saying. Okay, so this is your dirty kitchen slash laundry area. So actually, you have lots of space here. where the stove is going to be. Okay. And actually right here, this is the air conditioning uh, place for the guest room. The guest room, sorry. The guest room. What's this? This is probably for storage or electricity. Storage, yeah, and electricity. Wow, it smells like Paxio. That's really weird. Oh, it's, ah, it's from the other house pala. Sorry guys. Okay. So, this is the maids and drivers bathroom. No light yet. Okay. Okay. All right, and this is the maids area. So, bunk beds dito. And it's going to lead us to your patio, okay, your unfinished patio. So I think ito talaga yung designated laundry area. Okay. So you guys can have lots of landscaping there. Yeah, I know guys, it looks so bare, but you know, just some grass and some flowers, you can totally transform this place. Let's go back. All right, and now let's check out the guest room. Brian, can you open the door? Thanks, man. So, let's see. Since this house is facing the north, as Brian said, you have lots of light. Pero guys, if you actually are in this room, hindi siya mainit. Kasi pag afternoon sun, when the sun is facing the room directly, it's really hot. But see, we have this brightly lit room. And it doesn't even feel like the sun is directly hitting it. So, if you guys like a brightly lit room without the heat, get a house that faces the north. Okay. So, okay, one last. Brian, can you just walk around just so that they can see? So, one last look. Queen size bed kaya dito. Yeah, it would fit. Yeah. Alright, queen size bed could definitely fit here. Yeah. 
And then right here is your powder room. And di pala powder room, full toilet and bath. Full toilet and bath. And for guests. Okay. Mirror. Shower. And toilet. Okay, so we have here in this beautiful staircase, 2 by 12, I believe, Nara steps, solid Nara steps, 12 millimeter tempered glass. So not only is it beautiful, but it's safe for your kids. And, all right, this beautiful window. For the trust for the finish here. Saan? If we can choose the finish here. Okay, they can? Yeah, because this is not the other. Okay, I'm not going to quote that, but Brian said that they can actually choose a finish here because not all the narrow planks match in color. Okay. So, pwede pa kaya yun, finish? So, I'll confirm that with Miss Angela na lang. And I'll put it in the bottom right corner if Brian is correct. Okay, so ito guys. So, this is your family area. A mini living area. Pwede rin. So, maganda dito talaga yung window. Okay? It brings in lots of natural light, plus this window. So, it's a very bright house. Okay? Tapos, ano ba yung sinabi mo, Brian? Since the whole house is neutral. So, since the, the whole house is neutral, once you really want to design it, you can easily put on the... You can, madali na gumawa ng color scheme. Because any color scheme. Any color scheme would fit here. Okay, so, yeah. So, what you saw behind us was the master bedroom. Let's check out this bedroom first. Okay. Bedroom number one. Okay. Here, Brian, can you go around just so they can see the size? Uh, it's really bright. Can you yeah. open the windows now? Let's see how that feels, man. They actually have access to it. There, I adjusted it for you guys. Okay. And this is your toilet and bath. And one last look at this bedroom. Okay, second bedroom. It's about, it's a similar size to the last one. Okay. Very windy and airy here in Phil and Fest too. I really enjoy filming here because the houses are not hot. Believe me guys, when you film these really big houses, lala na pag afternoon sun, it's so hard to film because I keep sweating and I don't want to look sweaty in front of the camera. But in here, it's not a problem. Yet you guys are not gonna see it because I'm behind the camera. Okay, full toilet and bath. Right. And last but not least, joke lang not yet. This was the bathroom that we just entered. So it's kind of weird. But it's a public access. And the fourth and final bedroom, the master. Beautiful. So I'm just gonna move around. All right, Brian's here just so that you guys can see the size. All right, so get Brian, move around. So it's pretty big, you can fit the king size bed here. Definitely. So guys, just a reminder, kayo mamimili ng finish niya sa flooring ha. So it's not gonna look like that, definitely not. So the original flooring is gonna be a laminate floor. Okay, laminated wood. Laminated wood, guys. But they have the option to upgrade. If whether they want an engine floor or they want something else. Okay, so laminated or depends on you kung anong klaseng floors ang gusto rin. Okay. Although here in the bathroom we have already beautiful tiles in place. So modern ang tingin talaga ng bathroom na to, very elegant. Gray neutral ulit, 'di ba? Yeah. 
So, double six for his and hers, a huge mirror. Okay, actually double mirrors. And shower with glass door and cement enclosure, so. Let's see that. Whoops. And the toilet. Right? And of course a full mirror here. Does it not in your closet? So we have lots of space for your clothes. Okay, so with, for this master bedroom, actually Brian just said something really insightful. Can you, can you repeat what you said? Pag, usually kasi pag architects, like they don't really take into consideration how the windows, how everything looks like from the inside. From the inside. So, but here, Basta maganda lang sa labas. the windows are properly placed, it's not, it's not in an odd place. So it would be easier for you to lay out the bed and then all the stuff. It, it's not just for, for the master's bedroom, it also goes for the other rooms as well. Very symmetrical, very proper, yeah. properly, properly placed yung mga windows. Kasi usually pag interior designer, di ba pa, kayo yung nag-iisip nun. Yeah, for example, you can put, because of this thing, you can put the bed here, then put silos to... Sockets. To sockets, that can be the bed is here, then you have two bedside tables there. And then you can have a TV there or whatever you want. And of course, the balcony. Look at that. Oh, what a wonderful day. That's a beautiful day to film that. So here's the balcony space. So besides like morning coffee and reflecting and you know enjoying, what, what's the point of a balcony? What do you think? I think we just for hanging out. Tambay lang, no? Yeah, we just hanging out. Put some plants here and stuff. Okay. So yeah, that is it for this house tour. If you are interested in this house, you can click the link in the description below. So all you have to do is put in your contact information and then we can get to contact you directly. Now, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that I can continue to make more of these house videos for you. Thank you again so much for watching. God bless you.